Hi guys, welcome back to Future Dimensions 360. As you know, in our last tutorial, we had learned about RM command, how we can remove the files from the walking space or from the staging area. In today's tutorial, we will be learning how we can undo the changes that we had done in our working space. So that will be done by using checkout command. So today's tutorial, we will be learning how we can use checkout command with Git projects. So let's move forward and try to learn the actual usage with the help of an example. First of all, what we will be learning in checkout command is how we can undo the changes from the working area only. Checkout command is applicable to do or to revert the changes that you had performed in your working space or in your working area only. So let's go on and try to understand with an example. Let's see you have a working directory and you are having a staging area. And in working directory in step one, you had created a file and you had passed line one and line two inside the file then similar to the steps we are doing before you had passed the same file to your staging area keep it in mind that checkout command is working for those file those have a copy available in your staging area new files are not applicable for staging uh, for checkout command. You had created a file. You had add line one and line two in that file. And then you had passed that file to your staging area. Now in step two, what happened is you got another requirement. You had passed line three inside your file as well. After adding the changes that you got in step two, you get a new requirement that we don't need these changes. Now, what happened is line one and two or the file that is in working directory, that is a part of working directory is already changed. You have done some changes inside that file. Now you want the old file back again. A copy of that old file is available. Where is available inside the, inside the staging area that you had pushed for your commit. So you want that file that is available inside your staging area. You have to discard the changes that you have done in your working directory on same file. How you can do that is you can do that by using checkout command. This is the actual scenario. Checkout command is not applicable for new files. It's applicable for existing files only. Those have a copy available in your staging area. What it will do is it will discard the new changes and get back the copy that is available inside your staging area. How you can do that is checkout command is only applicable for tracked files or the file. Those are a part of your staging area files whose copy is available on staging area. How you can perform this checkout command? Simply you have to call git checkout and then file name very simple very easy you can pass the file name git checkout and you will get the copy back again let's go and try to perform this functionality i will open up my terminal here is my terminal i am inside my git folder already so let's create a new folder named as r uh, sorry mkdir i will say git checkout okay cd git checkout I will first of all create a file vim file one dot txt I will say name I will put line text line one and then line two as I had passed in my example as well I will save this file and then I will say git init create an empty repository so now we can pass all our file as we had initialized the empty repository, so we will pass all the files to our staging area by using git add dot command. Similarly, we will check the status git status. You can see sorry, git status 
you can see the files are a part of our staging area now i'll say git let's say vim file1.txt and now what i have to do here is i will pass a new line named as line 3 and then i will save the file if i will check the file again you guys can see three lines are available inside my file okay so after updating this file i got a requirement that we have to discard these changes and we want to revert it back to the last one the last file that we had committed is or that we had passed in our staging is having a two lines line one and line two let's get back those with checkout command git checkout let's say checkout and then file name is file one dot txt let's hit enter and you can say updated one path from index your working space file is updated from where from staging area so we got the latest copy from the staging area and we had pasted it on top of your working repository for file one let's say vim file one as soon as i will enter you guys can see the text available inside my file in the local repo in the working spaces line one and line two line three is discarded by using checkout command i'm giving you a very basic example with line one line two and line three let's uh, imagine like you have thousand lines of code it will be hard for you to remove the new changes uh, one by one so it will be very easy to go on by getting the copy from the staging area by using checkout command again one thing keep it in mind the checkout command is available for the files that are already a part of staging area so rm command that we had learned in our last lecture is applicable for new created files or is applicable for changing file removing file from the staging area and from the working directory but checkout command is applicable for the existing file to update to the last version or to the version that we had passed to our staging area before so i hope you guys had understand it in detail still if you have any question any query you can comment us you can reach us to our mailbox as well uh, i will come up with the next tutorial very soon i'll see you in the next one please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel until then take care and goodbye